Oh, finally I'm back. Did you get my stuff? Oh, thank God. I've been absolutely dying for... Um, darling, I think you've made a mistake. I asked for Fiji water. This is Aquafina. No, they're quite different, I assure you. It's all right. I see how you could get confused. Fiji, Aquafina, so similar. But it's okay. You can just head back to the store and get them to do a quick exchange for you. I'm sure it happens all the time. Of course, now. I'm so parched. I ran out of water two days ago and just... Just look at me. I'm wilting. Oh, that's funny. Tap water. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. <laughs> you, you're serious. <laughs> Absolutely not. I've seen what you humans toss in your water supply. There is no way I'm putting that in my fragile ecosystem. Yes, that was before you humans showed up and plowed over my forest. There's no more stream to drink from now. No more pond. All gone. No, you didn't personally destroy any of it, but you are benefiting from its absence now. Thus, it is partially your responsibility to take care of those who were displaced, such as myself. I can't just go to any other forest. Being such as myself are a lillipathic. A, a lillipathic? We inhibit each other's growth. As such, we don't like sharing, and we certainly don't like having roommates. You should consider yourself lucky that I tolerate you enough not to just demolish this whole building. That... my reasoning is none of your business. I just... I like climate control. And the lack of mosquitoes. And no rodents trying to make home in my roots. But we're getting off topic. Just go back to the store and get me the correct water, yes? Ugh, fine. Ugh. It's no wonder your plants are so depressed. Can't get quality hydration and don't even get me started on the lack of sunlight. Of course they're sad. It's plain to see. Violet hasn't flowered in ages. Spidey is borderline beige. And Pothos, poor Pothos, she's turned nearly completely black. And she's told me she thinks the sun is a myth. Do you understand how difficult that is to do to a Pothos? Cactus doesn't count. His kind thrives on neglect. Something you seem to think I have in common with it from the looks of things. I am too neglected. When was the last time you picked up my pot and took me out on the town? Never. And don't you dare try to give me those excuses again. Oh, humans have never seen a dryad before. They'd go into a panic with their feeble little human minds. Just because they've never seen a being like myself before doesn't mean they should remain ignorant forever. In fact, I think it would be good for you all. Maybe then you'd stop and think before uprooting our homes. Why are you snickering? I'm serious. You humans don't consider the repercussions of your actions until after you've taken them. And even then, unless you personally witness those consequences, you refuse to believe they exist. Unbelievable. You're giggling at me. What puns? I'm trying to communicate my concerns with you, and you laugh at them. I know the situation is not ideal. You just want this place to yourself, and I long for the days when I could just dip my toes into my sparkling pond, not a care in the world. But until my roots are strong enough for a transplant, then any other option means certain death for me. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, maybe two more months, give or take? Too expensive? Is my well-being not worth it to you? 
how how many bottles? I don't I don't know, maybe four to six per day. On the low end? Uh four plus four You do the math. I'm a dryad. We don't do multiplication. All right, you tell me, how many is it per month? All right, 120 doesn't sound completely unreasonable to me. I admit $300 sounds a bit high, but I don't really have a grasp on your bartering system, so hard to say. Oh, that was one time. I misjudged how much water would spill over when I got in. I already apologized for it. Of course not. Why would I bother counting the empty bottles? Waste of time. 300. <coughs> I mean, <coughs> I mean, of course it took 300 bottles. You have a large bathtub. Yes, I can survive on tap water. You could survive in the mud hut, but here you are in this spacious abode with all the amenities. Neither of us wants to just survive. We want to thrive. I want to grow. I want my branches to reach to the sky and kiss the clouds. Is that so different from you? I, I can't deny that. If you hadn't picked up what was left of my tree, I likely would be dead by now. I am grateful you decided to help its twig root again. I, I really am. I just, I have needs. Needs that can't be quenched by your mere tap water. And what is that? How is that a compromise? I ask for water and you bring home a what? See-through box? Is this why you couldn't afford my Fiji water? Uh huh. And what does this filter do exactly? I already told you I can't stand tap water. I am not drinking that. But I, oh, very well, bottoms up, yes. <coughs> well, it's, um, potable. Still quite flat, though, you know. Oh, that is a low bar, but yes, drinkable. So, in this compromise, I would be allowed half my usual Fiji water allotment, provided I supplemented the other half with this. Could I still use Fiji for baths? All right, all right, no, no Fiji soaks. But maybe I could convince you to make it two-thirds Fiji and one-third filtered tap, at least for the first month, just until I'm used to it. Fantastic. I'm so glad we could reach an arrangement. You're very welcome, darling. Sorry? Why should I thank you back? I'm the one making the sacrifice here. Now, if you'll excuse us, Violet tells me there's a fantastic movie I need to see. Little shop of, what was it? Hawthorns? Hydrangeas? It doesn't matter. We're going to go watch that. You know, you, um, you could... You're welcome to join us if you'd like. Your company has grown on me. Why are you laughing again? Forget I asked. Oh, I guess it could be an acquired taste.